Let's go for a drive. Now, where we're going, we don't need roads. Okay, should be over. All right, let's get to work. Well, this is what you get when you live in between the white trash of the Okanagan, the white trash of Alberta, and the white trash of the Lower Mainland. You end up going way the hell out into the middle of nowhere, and you find trailers that have been just peppered, just destroyed when it comes to um, conditioned like they brought them out here to die pretty much by the way don't do that that's illegal dumping anyways why am i out here making a video on this because i'm sure there's something i can salvage out of this even though as we look inside here it's uh it's pretty poor the trailer itself is not great shape i mean like mm, look at that look at that wonderful stove there with man is that a shotgun hit Eh, doesn't entirely matter. Well, what about just dragging the thing out of here? I mean, it's littering, isn't it? Well, I could. The hitch is still there. Is the hitch still there? Eh. The hitch is still there. But I don't think the wheels are still here. Nope. Not even cinder blocked. Damn. All right. Well, one great thing about rednecks is that they're not entirely smart. So it's entirely possible that while the camper itself is a total loss. There may be items inside worth salvaging that are part of the camper which are worth saving. So I'll start digging around. Now here is what used to be the kitchen. Now one of the things to note is that some of these little low voltage 12 volt lights are here. So some of those are still salvageable. Um, I can see there's more extensive wiring going on in here but the control panel itself appears to have been um, punched in. So I don't know if there's anything hiding behind this right now, but I can't help but notice there is 120 volt service available here. So either there's a plug-in or my bet is that while it might have been hiding above or below where the propane fridge used to be, there has to be an inverter hiding in here somewhere. There's switches? Well, yeah, there's switches down here too. Yeah, I guess I'll probably save those too. Uh, and I'll keep digging as I start pulling construction material out and see what I can find. Now I've mentioned before there are shotgun shells everywhere. But I'm just curious what the hell they were doing at this point. You see this hole here? That? They just put the shotgun right up to this thing and then pulled the trigger and it's blown a hole clean through it. Same goes with over here. Like there and even here. Like you can see like there's the pellet hit right there, and that just blew clean through the ha through the trailer. Also, why the hell did they just cut it right here? Like, okay, sure. Anyways, work progresses. Okay, I got the majority of the junk out of there so I can take a look around, and I think I figured out what most of this drywall is from. First thing I notice here is 091006, so this is either September 10th, 2006, or 2009, October.
October 6th or something along those lines. This is a shower or the remains of a shower and it all has black mold on it. So my guess is that Hmm, 10 years or so ago, someone installed or finished off a basement shower or what have you, and they did a terrible job at it, and it leaked, and there was mold everywhere, and they just decided to rip the whole thing out, and of course, dump it out here in the middle of the woods. Whatever. Anyways, so now that we're inside, we can determine a little bit more by walking through that the Magic Chef natural gas or propane uh, oven and stove are dead. The adorable little tiny um, sink here is no good. There's like gashes straight through there. What the hell? Um, as we've mentioned before, there is no fridge. If we go down over this way here, we can determine we're not using the bathroom. We're not gonna salvage anything out of there. Uh, that cute little sink looks like it's in one piece, but do I wanna pull it out? No. And for some reason, this area here has been gutted out because there's a hole here and there's a spot for a chimney right here. So someone had a wood stove in here. But now that all this junk is out of the way, I was able to determine what I thought might be here is here. It's just hiding right there. That is either our charger or our inverter. I'm going to have to pull it out and figure out what it is. Likewise, there's a water tank hiding right here. There's a breaker panel and there's a water pump that's hiding behind it. So I'm going to go and yank that stuff out and see if it's usable at all. Okay, well, that's a couple of things pulled out of there, and I even got myself some lights pulled out of here as well. So, we're going to call that quits here, because that was a ridiculous amount of work. There is a huge amount of trash here, which, well, before it gets dark, i got to throw that back into the camper so it can be carried away. And then I just got a bunch of odds and ends here. There's someone nearby on a scooter I can hear. Others I picked up, and that is uh, a water tank. Might be reusable. That turned out to be a battery charger, but I did get a power distribution panel. Uh, water pump, uh, potable water pump actually, with a pressure switch on it. This uh, rather cute, um, it's got a accessory port, 12 volt, whatever the hell you want to call it, and cable for your TV. Uh, amongst the junk, there was actually even this um, lithium ion battery charger, so that might be reusable. And a whole hell of a lot of lights, and a couple of switches. The cool thing about these lights, these have already been converted to LED. This here alone was worth this little escapade. Another thing I found, humorously, was this. And you can just kind of make out there that it is an Intel SSD, or it was an Intel SSD. All right, anyways, I gotta go clean this mess up here, or at least throw everything back into here. Um, to answer your questions, no, the furnace was not salvageable, the water heater was not salvageable, um, anything that was outwards facing was not salvageable. But I have a hell of a mess to clean up now, it is getting dark, and I hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, have a good one.